Hey guys, welcome to Movie Facts. Today we are gonna see some power shortcuts for Nuke. So let's get started. So these are some shortcuts for creating nodes. These are very often used by artists. So next we are gonna see how to create a viewer. Um, select your read node and hit Ctrl I. So it will create a viewer. You can create as many as viewers you want like this Ctrl I and then when you close that it's gonna delete them so that's it for viewer and then next we're gonna see views and choose views so we see how to create viewer so hit Ctrl I create a viewer and then this dotted line this is called a view i personally call it view so how to create multiple views like you can create uh, multiple views to view them select some node and hit the number numbers in your uh, keyboard like one two three uh, the one input is already connected so i'm hitting two so it will create another uh, view for you so what is the another view you can view this pipe and also this pipe through this viewer so you can compare the input and output like um, so this is my input now i'm viewing the second viewer view of the viewer so input and output hit one and two for input and output so you can just see you can create as many as you know, views you need like three four five and so on so this will create this dotted nodes to the viewer so basically uh, most of the artists will use only two views so it's easy to compare between the input and output like this i personally prefer this way of uh, viewing the uh, footage or work whatever like this so the shortcut is one two and so on you can also swap the views like up arrow it will cycle the view through how many inputs you are having like this up arrow up arrow up arrow it will cycle through the views and up arrow and down arrow also reverse that um, yeah that's it for the views and switch views the next thing we are gonna see is creating dots yeah, the dots are very very useful little thing in Nuke for, in Nuke's node graph. How to create dot? Just hit the full stop button to create a dot. Yeah, that's it. So you can create as many as dots like this. You don't need like ton of dots like this, but you can create. Um, there is another way, an easy and flexible way to create dot. Just click and control. So. Uh, it, will it will show a dot like this and you can click there to create a dot node it will show in between every single pipes so if you are having some nodes here and you want to branch it here you can just click ctrl and then drag it here and then drag it here like this so you have another branch you can also do uh, another way of creating a branch i'll show you later in a minute so this is how to create dot just hit uh, full stop like this uh, or, or you can select a node and then hit dot so creating a dot like this and yeah that's it for creating dots so the next one we are gonna see is merge inputs so how to merge input by default you will create a merge and then connect it here and here and here like so if you want to merge multiple inputs there is another short way of creating merge we already see to create a merge node hit m so this is one of the way and creating creating merge and connect it and there is another way you can select the inputs and hit m to create a merge node like so so these are merged together you can select as many as inputs you need and hit m and then you go there it goes so that's it for creating a merge 
just hit yum then the next one we are going to see is the swap inputs this is also really useful so let's say this is my background okay this is my foreground and uh, keying it and pre-merging it so we got, we got alpha right then we are gonna merge it here so what the problem is I'm having the B pipe here and A pipe here basically the B goes to the background and A goes to the foreground so I need to swap them you, you usually you can do this by this way just disconnecting it disconnecting it and then connecting it again so you can swap like this and there is a shortcut for this if you hit shift X it's just swapping the inputs you can see that A B is swapping so the inputs are swapped yeah like so this is very very useful shortcut and yeah this one is one of my favorite yeah you can you know, basically if you want to move a node uh, like i want to move this grid below this blur node so i i do this right but there is a smart way for doing this yeah just select the node and hit control up arrow it's going up and control down arrow to go down yeah this is also very, very useful for example i'm having a big node graph like this i'm merging some two three four ground elements here so you can just move them to the next level like control up arrow up arrow so it will put your um, foreground element before others and then you can also revert it back like this this is very very useful for uh, uh, moving the moving the nodes moving the foreground elements in depth or uh, something like that so the next one we are gonna see is uh, moving the nodes in the node graph like connected nodes um, let's say this is my uh, messed up node graph or something like that uh, i want to move them all move them move them the only these out of this mess so what i can do is just click here uh, sorry um, control click here so it will select everything and then move that's it very simple if you want to do it manually you need to select everything and then deselecting this and then select this and then select this oh shit and then select this deselect this and then you need to move that but if you are using this shortcut you just gonna control click here so it will select every connector node and then just move it up so it's very easy to move them and you can just delete them all like this yeah the next thing we are gonna see is create uh, nodes in branch yeah I, I told you already I will show you later yeah this is the way to create a branch of node like if you hit C to create a color correct in between these two nodes in the wire if you want to create it as a separate thing like this so that you can compare these both color corrections you want to um, just add shift to C so it will create a branch of color correct node like this like this you can do as many as branch you need you can create any node any uh, nodes with the power shortcut yeah that's it for creating a branch of node um, then we can create sticky nodes yeah i like sticky nodes very much just hit alt n to create a sticky node yeah that's it it's very very uh, small so if i need to increase the size of the text like this what should i do i need to open the properties panel right so here is the shortcut for opening the properties panel um just control press control and double click on that so you will get this properties panel so you can just increase the font size here 
like this or else you can control plus alt plus click this to uh, open up this um, properties panel yeah that's it for today we'll see in next tutorial or something uh, some videos yeah cool thank you